are Subaruing world's fastest gamer, and that's not me. But I'll tell you what, I'm having a red hot go at it. So, in the Austin Martin, um, I'll run through a few settings. So, so if it helps anybody out, but this uh, laser scan Subaruing track is really bumpy. Um, so I've managed to crack two minute point four. That is my fastest time so far, um, which is I think uh, what am I about one hundred and thirty five, hundred thirty fifth uh, out of um, three hundred people who've had a crack at it. So pretty stoked with that so far. So. <laughs> Straight out of the bat, air yeah, vehicle set, all the standard stuff for uh, me Fanatec gear. All right, settings, settings, settings. So uh, fuel enough to do uh, shred tyres in about five laps. So that'll do it. And yeah, preload about in the middle. Um, yeah, rear wing. And on eight, and I've dropped it back to seven before, so I should actually, uh, that's what I did my first time on, so I'm going to save that. Um, yeah, that's it, fair bit of radiator tape, that's nearly maximum, uh, help keep the nose on the ground, so I've got the suspension fully jacked up, uh, nice and hard. What I might do is I'll show you, well, let's go compare, um, we'll go defaults. And then we'll get mine and we'll compare mine to the defaults. So, yeah, as you said, I've upped the preload, a little bit more rear wing, heaps of uh, tape and suspension. So I've upped it to hard. Um, on the slow bump and slow rebound, because this is a really bumpy track, um, what I've done is is to soak up the bumps. I want the suspension to react to those bumps really quickly. So I've taken these, say, down a notch. So it's funny when you take them down a notch, they go up in value. But there, that's off um, standard. So I just took that one notch, one notch for the uh, slow bump. Now, and then I've cranked these right up. So as you can see, when you go up, they go down. Uh, so, yeah, 18 and 21. And then I've also, with the harder suspension, I've lifted the car a little bit to be able to take up those undulations. Uh, not much. And I've also added some packers in there. Um, I think my fast time, I actually went up to one centimetre of packers and lifted the car right up. Uh, this helps with the bumps. So as I've said, main thing in, in the shock settings here is to soak up those those bumps. I mean, you want to keep the car as low to the ground, but want to also make it like a bloody four wheel drive. <laughs> so you can just uh, yeah, soak them up, get a little bit more articulation out of the uh, suspension, a bit more up and down. So that's pretty much it in the settings. So and any roll bar, yeah, I've uh, just left that. The way it was it felt pretty good uh, obviously less anti-roll bar the car is going to roll more then you can use more camber and get the car to turn but i've already got a fair bit of camber uh, the toe in and toe out help the car turn in and take the corners as well as the rear end following the car so i've upped that a little bit more so more uh, toe in toe out so it's going to turn those corners a bit better a bit more of an arc uh, chassis we can't do anything with there yeah that's on stock so I've let the tyres all the way down maximum grip I tried it with them uh, about halfway not too bad but uh, yeah definitely getting the ultimate grip out of the, uh, the softer tyres yeah our camber's nearly all the way up um, we've got 4.11 degrees of camber and then 2.5 so it's almost half of what the front is but yeah that seemed to work for me and yeah obviously soft tires we've got now brake bias i've kept the same this um yeah 100 kilos of force because i found the traction control map and the anti-lock brake system yes i'm using some of it i always prefer not to but i've just found yeah if i am going for times then it's definitely helping
just a little bit of traction control and because that goes all the way up to 10 I think 11 there you go so I've just got it on the, the 3 and the anti-lock for the brakes it's 11 so I got that on 7 so I just found that was pretty good I was down around the 3 4 but um, yeah what I've tried is is basically up the back straight when you're um, going into one of the air pins you've got to pull the car up I've got the anti-lock so it's on there yeah, wringing its neck pushing my foot through the firewall and then it's pulling up just uh, without locking up so it's a pretty good setting so that's Hopefully it gives some insight on how to set up a car, especially for this track. Um, as I said, a lot of bumpy, bumpy, laser scan tracks. So uh, it's uh, got the car sticking like shit to a blanket to say, the old proverbial, but... All right, in the beast. It's looking good, eh? Don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. So let's get it out on a lap and we'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll just go through the corners and the bumps on the first lap and then we'll go flat out in the second one, see what we can do. So a big sweep in the first corner, high speed corner, quite a few bumps in it, that's why I tune the car up to soak them up, slamming it back to second gear, we've got through the S's, we cut this one, jump across here, car to settle down. Bring it through, a bit of a late apex, get the power down as much as you can on that exit. Now we're out on the uh, what I call it first back straight. This is where we've got to pull it up nice and hard. Like that. You can cut that corner a little bit, but that's important, get the power down coming out of that hairpin, get up through here. The second marker, back to first. We can, um, oh, I usually miss that apex, but I can usually cut that apex, cut that one a tiny bit. Don't want to get your two wheels too much on the grass, because obviously you're going to lose traction. We're back to second gear. And if you can, I usually cut that corner too, because you're just drifting through that corner, so you're not applying the the power to get out the other side, so flat out through here and back to third, back to third, and we've got to try and sweep through here. And the last corner, we've really got to get it right so we can get the power down. So quite tricky through there, so you can make a lot of time and lose a lot of time through there. Now, this is a good bit where I'll set the suspension up, pull up. Uh, it's quite a savage bump on there, and there as you can see. But the, uh, the old Aston seems to soak it up quite nicely through there. Uh, let's see what we can do. Not too good. Too well through there. You got to be uh, bloody spot on. Not too bad. Definitely not going to be the quickest time, but uh, still having a crack. Whoops, thought I had that apex right then, but the uh, car just must carry too much speed. Too much speed through there as well, so he stuffed that last corner. That's definitely not how you do it. 
And I do believe I've got the car set up pretty good. If I can get the uh, thing turned in on time. Oh yeah, that's uh, beautifully through there. Soak it up the bums, the little sideways. Yeah, quite a bit slower. Really a second slower. Terrible. So, there it is, the good old Sebring. Uh, yeah. So uh, that will see how I go. I'm going to keep trying. See whether I can get this car set up any better. Uh, see what difference I can make to it and uh, yeah, make some improvements on myself. My braking markers, my turn in points, the apexes, they all got to be spot on. Uh, and it's all about traction, keeping those wheels on the ground. So I hope that helped. Uh, yeah, I'll see if I can improve my time in the meantime and I'll uh, catch you around the next one. Yeah, see ya.